Hi everyone, welcome to official channel of Video Prog Vlogger. In this video, we are going to break down a few techniques that could help enhance your DJI drum footage and show you how to get the most out of your drum video. Turn them into something fantastic and slappy. So, if you're new here, find the link in the description box down below to download Video Prog Vlogger for free. Alright now, pull up a chair and let's get started. First off, launch your software and create a new project in the project panel. This will bring you to our main interface. Click here to import the material that we are going to use. Drag them into a video track in turn. And use a split tool to cut unwanted and redundant part. This could ensure you make the most of the highlight clips and take the result to next level. To select the right music for the videos, there comes a few tips to work with. One of which is to sync the video with the music that has stronger rhythms and beats. This could make your video more dynamic and engaging. We will drop a tutorial on how to sync the video to music very soon. So look forward to that if you are stuck on this part. Well, let's import the music to a program. And drag it to an audio track. Double click to select it. Then, navigate to your inspector on the right hand. Add a fade in and fade out effect. In this way, your music could fit more naturally in the video. Color grading tends to be the very punchline to video editing, since people are consistently sensitive to colors. Let's take a look at this clip of the car wheeling on the road. The colors in the image are pale. This is because the overall saturation is low. Besides, the color in the footage is inconspicuous as it should have. And this is because the color contrast between the white car and the surrounding image is not very protruding. To fix it, first, select the footage and click color here. Adjust and customize these parameters. We start with turning up contrast the saturation and then the exposure and the blacks. Well now, you could probably notice the difference that after adjustment, the videos are more aesthetic and bright. At last, don't forget to hit apply button. Some people prefer something more classic, like the slowly kicked off scenes in the beginning of a movie. Well, let me show you how here. Choose the first clip and find motion here. Click it. This will lead you to the motion editor. Choose vertical open. Click add. Let's see how it goes. Well, the effect looks great. Hit apply. Here we go. Usually, as you added a drone footage, there is one crucial step that you certainly don't want to miss and that is speed. Right here, you could quick select a speed and insert in the video. But if you're looking for something more tense, go to the speed editor. Click the speed icon here. As the editor window pops up, you could find a handful of presets for you to leverage. Well, for more detailed speed editing, go check out the speed tutorial made in our channel and you will find its power. Alright, so here what I want to do to this clip is to expedite the speed first and then slow it down. Well, choose the speed effect, then hit apply. Now, let's take a look at before and after. The result is desirable. Lex, let's move to a transition. To uplift your video, transition is an essential kit. But here, I want to show you something more advanced, the match cut. First, make sure the camera moves in the two clips toward the same direction, so the scenes and the subject. And meanwhile, you must render certain that the shared parts appearing in two clips are overlapped. 
or identical to one another. And to reach that, we might need to make some adjustment. Click this clip, drag it down here to the overlay track. Then find transparency setting, lower the value, and move the slider to here. Well, clearly. Then we continue to adjust the scale and the position of the clip until it matches exactly the previous one. When it does, we restore the transparency to where it was. Finally, let's keep the footage from the overlapped frame and beyond. Cut out the clip before the frame. And then, place the clip back to a video track. Well, on top of this, we could do some to achieve greater results. Go to the transition panel upper left corner. Here you can find a lot of presets. Select dissolve and drag it to here between the two clips. Adjust the duration time of the transition in the inspector on the right hand. Let's see the result. Is that amazing? As we finish this step, our editing is pretty much drawing to a close. Yet, I won't add a query title and call it the end. Find titles here. Click it. I'm going to go with this dial and drag it to a timeline. Now, we move to the right to the inspector and adjust the text, font, size, and all that. As we're done with the settings, click export. Don't forget to turn the 4K high quality bottom on. Hit start. Now your project is complete. Well, I believe you must have picked up some useful drum video editing skills after watching this tutorial. Alright, still don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel for more video release. Hope you enjoy here. We will see you soon in our next video. Bye bye.